Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys. I am back from my hiatus. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of Aki's USB-C to 4 port USB 3.0 hub. The name really tells the entire story with this thing. Uh, not much on the box, so we'll open it up. Get a user manual. You get your usual key sticker and then underneath that you get the hub itself. This is a small, very plasticky hub with a rather long cable. And as the name suggests, you have one, two, three, four USB 3.0 ports. Aki branding there. And then that is an LED indicator to tell you that it is powered. So let me uh, find my MacBook real quick. And we'll bring this over and plug it in. And we have the light on, it turns green. And then I'll slide this off to the side and um, I need things to plug in. Okay, so I've got things to plug in. We'll start with flash drive. Grab a lightning cable. Slide that in next to it. And we'll grab my phone and we'll plug the phone in. And it's telling me I gotta unlock it to use USB accessories, but it would charge if I had the MacBook open. Plug in another flash drive. Orange light came on and then went off because Again, the MacBook's closed. And just because I want to give you guys a glimpse of what's coming, I'm going to plug in this really, really old 30-pin dock connector. And then this iPod Touch 3rd Gen. And I should probably open the MacBook so it supplies power. Cool, let's try that again. Anyone remember that sound? So it does what it says it does. It is a USB-C to USB hub. Um, it's just not as fully fleshed out as something like this one from Hogor, where you have a USB-C pass-through, three USB Type-A ports, an HDMI, and then card readers. For most people, this is really all they need. And while the port selection is slightly underwhelming, the price is where this becomes more of something that I think a lot of people will look at. This is only 15 bucks. This is a $15 USB hub. So, uh, yeah, for something that has you know, bare minimum what you need for 15 bucks, that's not really that bad of a price. I do wish it was made of metal, but then that would probably put it into the 20, 25 dollar range versus 15 dollars. So uh, I see why they did it and I'm not gonna harp on them for it. I'll have that link down in the description below. It is 15 dollars, it is fairly inexpensive. So guys, that's it for this video. I know it was relatively short. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like subscribe, turn on notifications with the bell icon. This has been Jake with Technology and Toys, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.